back when I was a boy, a young lad, pretty much whenever I was going outside, because I was normally going outside somewhere in the bush or the swamp or wherever I was playing that day, I'd pretty much always be carrying a slingshot. Later, you can see that, later as I got older, um, when I was going hunting, I'd actually take one along because it was light and, uh, you know, because a lot of time we were hunting for pigs, so you'd either have a gun, uh, whatever for the pigs, but, you know, if you had a little cottontail rabbit, um, show up, you didn't want to, you know, shoot your pig gun to take down a, a rabbit, um, so you'd, you'd actually, and it was a bit more of a challenge too, you know, you'd take the slingshot along and, um, see if you can bag a rabbit, you know, with the, uh, slingshot, and believe me, it did not happen very often. Um, also as a, as an emergency, um, you know, wilderness survival tool, they were also carried quite a lot, you know, well, I sure did anyway. Um, until in Australia they banned slingshots, and I think that's still the case now. <coughs> so, um, but what I noticed is that there is a huge difference in the type of ammo you might choose. Um, so these are some, I'm going to test these today with the chronograph, just to give you an idea of the, the difference in power. So the marbles, that was actually, that was a pretty popular um, slingshot ammo. Um, they're okay for very small birds, maybe dove, um, maybe, you know, they'd be alright for squirrels or something very small. Um, but even on the, on the cotton tails, you know, a small rabbit, um, they wouldn't be too small, too light. Um, in which case you're going to want to go to something heavier like that. Alright, that's a a lead round ball. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm going to test those out in the chronograph, try to get an idea of the, the actual foot pounds each one's generating, and uh, show you that. Oh, another thing, um, and this is going to show it when I finish this video, but uh, on a lot of the prepper websites, and, um, you know, off grid and homesteaders and whatever they talk about this as a, a type of slingshot as a self defense weapon. And that's, yeah, I don't really recommend that. I mean, especially when you can buy a gun. Um, and, uh, however, the, you know, getting hit in a sensitive spot, eyes, or head, especially with something like that, and uh, it is a life-threatening um, thing, so yeah, be careful with where you're shooting these things. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll talk more about that, and I'll go set up the weights, I've got to weigh and make sure I've got the right weights. Okay, first one, it's about 75 in a calibre, but you can see it's not the the roundest round ball, but it'll do for the slingshot. Six hundred and six grains. Four fifty four, this is the same um, ball I use in my Black powder revolvers. <coughs> I'm not going to worry about the fractions of a. It's probably going to fall off. And uh, 375, once again, I use that in my uh, 36 caliber revolvers. 78. Uh, 0.323 round ball. Okay. Finally, the marble. 
4.8. I'm just going to go 85 on that. Okay, so <coughs> that's what I've got as far as weights. Um, yeah, go out and see what velocity I can get with that slingshot. Um, there is a lot of other styles of slingshots, you know, homemade. Um, I've seen some with multiple bands and huge draw weights, but uh, that's not the sort of thing we carried. Um, you yeah, know, when I was out hunting around and uh, exploring in the wilderness, so I'm not going to play with that today. So, that's my uh, foot-pounds measurement. So for that uh, 600 grain lead, you know, 75, roughly 75 caliber round ball, at 121 feet per second, I got 19.6 uh, foot-pounds which is actually, just having a look at this um, black powder reloading manual, it's actually pretty close to a 31 calibre revolver with a 3.5 inch barrel in some loads, you know, obviously you can get more than that, but it is a little bit comparable. So what's it got there? I'm just looking over there, 9.5 grains of powder. Well, this is at 25 yards, though. Foot pounds, but anyway, that's a good uh, you know, indication of the power you're getting out of the slingshot. It's not very much, obviously. Um, 454 round ball, 
9.9 foot-pounds, 375 round ball, 7.27 foot-pounds, 323 round ball, 5.47 foot-pounds. And the marble, which as a kid, that was pretty much my um, my ammo for blinking around, and uh, 7.17. So, yeah. There you have it.